Hi everyone. Now what we're going to be doing is moving on to installing sensors to our track segments and also installing track sensor icons. So what we're going to do in this session is we're actually going to install a sensor to this track segment, LS1 here, and we'll also install a sensor icon above it. So first point is to get the sensor into this track segment. So what we do is we right click on the track segment here on LS1, scroll down to edit, and then this will bring up our edit track window. Just expand that. You can see now that we've got information here saying it's a solid style track, which is just the solid nature of the actual mainline track itself, that it actually is in fact a mainline track. I can also hide this track if need be. And we need to enter um, in here a block name. So you can use any sort of name that you want. But for the session, what we'll do is we'll just use the generic LS1, which is its designation. Then we, what we do is we click on create, create Edit Block. And then what this will do is this will bring up a secondary screen, which is our Edit Block for LS1. And you can see there's a multiple array of submenus up here. And what we want to do is click on the sensor one. And in here you'll see sensor with the drop down box click on ls1 click apply and then click ok then back to the edit track segment box and click done now what that's done is actually added the ls1 sensor to this segment of track on our panel next thing we need to do is we need to add a sensor icon and then this is just a matter of clicking on the sensor icon up here going to the drop down box clicking on ls1 holding down the shift key and then moving to where we want to place the sensor on the panel pro panel, which is just above the LS1 track segment. We do a left click and you can see that that adds the sensor icon. And if I drop the mouse over the top, you can see it lights up and says that it's designated to LS1. But this current state, the sensor is unknown, but then if we click on it, it'll actually light up and it'll also light that segment of track so when we have a piece of rolling stock with resistive wheel sets or a locomotive that's drawing power from the track and it enters this LS1 track segment now, that will then go through to the BDL168 and it'll show that that block or track segment is now occupied and we can also manually activate it and deactivate via the sensor as well. And that's it for this section on installing sensors and sensor icons.